So I'll read this transcript because I think it's kind of funny. Um, it's Ben versus Elaine and then Ben Chu versus Elaine and then Johnny versus Elaine. So, so I think it's uh, Elaine questioning Johnny Depp. It's perfect. Or how should I do Johnny Depp? It's perfect. Okay. It's perfect. Do you recall that there was a public record filing? Public record filing? Your divorce decree. Do you understand that that was your, your judgment of final decree was a public record filing? Objection to the form of the question calls for legal speculation. I have only been led to understand that, well, I remember it at the time. That was why I was able, when she had broken or breached the agreement, that I was able to, in fact, make the first set of donation to those charities myself. But I put it in her name. So I gave the first two to the charities and then Miss Hurd came out and wildly complained about it, saying that I should be charged the double, 14 million, because I was trying to use it as a tax write-off. First of all, if he's donating the 7 million to the charities directly, who fucking cares? Just let him, at the end of the day, it's the charity that is getting it. Is it not? Who cares if Johnny Depp gets a tax benefit? As long as the money goes to the charity, who cares, right? So because she complained about that and the money didn't go directly to charity because she and Elaine, or no, she and her lawyers made a huge thing about it. Um, the charity ended up not even getting the full seven million anyways. But anyways, we're doing it. Okay. Did you pay for any of the seven million, the settlement to Amber Heard because she alleged that you had engaged in domestic fee against her? No, she dropped the charges. You may answer the question to the extent that you're not disclosing any attorney-client privilege. No, it's very simple. She had dropped any charges of violence against me. So, in fact, there were no. Please stop interrupting him. No. We're going to call the court. It's okay. I'm starting to like it. <laughs> I mean, if anything, we might get some fanfic with Elaine and Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny says some funny ass shit sometimes, man. Okay. He runs on a lot and I would like you to talk with him. I would like you to stop interrupting him. I'm sorry. What have I done? He runs on a lot and... Oh, do I run on? <laughs> um, I think it skips a couple pages. Uh, the reporter is going to read back a question. So none of the seven million that you paid to Amber Heard was because as a result of her alleging that you've engaged in domestic A or V. Is that correct? And the same instruction. None of my seven million that she was awarded in the divorce had anything whatsoever to do with any of her claims. Any of that. No. You can take your break now. Thank you. We're going off the record. The time is 1215. We're back on the record. The time is 132. Mr. Depp, while you're talking, while talking this morning, you had indicated that Miss Heard had engaged in, I believe you called it a campaign of, oh, fuck, that's it. Do we get more stuff? All right. It's just quick little, you know, little banter, little, little jabby jabs against uh, Elaine and uh, JD and Ben. <laughs> I like how Ben Chu just like stands up for uh, JD. He's like, stop interrupting my client. And she's like, but, but, but he's, he is a man. <laughs> ben Chu just takes no shit. Oh, man. Feel bad for any lawyers who have to go head to head with Ben Chu because. He is a force to reckon with. Uh, JD versus Elaine, transcript of hearing, um, AH, Children's Hospital, and Elon. Let me see. Give me a second. I, I think we'll read this. Hearing conducted virtually Friday, April 30th, 2021. Damn, can you guys believe it's almost 2023? It's going to be Halloween in like two months. Thanksgiving, well, in three months if you're in America. You're in Canada two months and then Christmas in three months or four months. Isn't that crazy? Ah, time goes by so fast. I don't know who talked. Is this Ben Chu up here too? I'll just read it. Identical knowing how much evidence has been produced in the interim and knowing that we have met and confers and we're making this effort. But it also wasn't an A of this process to not continue to work with me to know this before coming to your honor today and play hide the ball. What the fuck is hide the ball? and try in some way surprise me with what they're going to claim still wasn't, still wasn't, after I spent the time to put over a 92 page. Oh, this has to be Elaine. This has to be Elaine. <laughs> oh, wait, is this tell us who it is? It is Elaine, I knew it. The, Elaine has a way of speaking and complaining that it's definitely Elaine. All right. So she's over here complaining about putting a 92 page supplemental, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then the court's like, all right, thank you. Oh, God. 
Sorry, he's he's got the world's well not this guy. That's Shiro. Steve is like right there. Oh, by the way, it was uh, his birthday a couple days ago and I forgot. I felt so bad. I was checking my email and you know how the vet usually does like a happy birthday thing. And I was like, shit, I forgot. Oh, he ran away. Mr. Chew. That's actually a really cute dog toy name. Mr. Chew. <laughs> All right. So let's go to Miss. Let's go to Mr. Chew. So it's Mr. Chew versus Elaine and uh, Judge Penny is here. Thank you, Your Honor. First, with respect to the chart, we apologize if we filled the chart out incorrectly. This is our first experience with it. We weren't trying to be ponderous. We we're trying to respond to the court's request. Second, with a response to conciliator, it is ironic. We oppose the conciliator, not because we don't want to conciliate, but because we know that Ms. Bredahoff would try to relitigate every single discovery issue that has been resolved by Chief Judge White. And Chief Judge White stated that, I know that Mr. Chu was saying is true. You will, Elaine, try to relitigate everything that's happened, and that's why I'm not supporting a conciliator. But, but, to get to the more substantive matters, Ms. Hurd did not say that she pledged the money to the ACLU and to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles Kids with Cancer. She said she did it. Her testimony was, the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity. This wasn't an offhand comment in deposition. This was a sworn statement that she filed. She didn't say she pledged it. She's now saying after the fact, oh, gee, no, I really don't have any money to those charities other than the hundreds of thousands that Mr. White gave at the time of the divorce. It was, you know, I, I, I couldn't really give money because Johnny sued me. Well, her lawyer admitted that it was Ms. Hurd, in fact, who initiated the first action against Mr. Depp. It was an arbitration matter that was dismissed by Judge Mazinger. So she was the one who actually filed the first shot and she had no intention of giving this money to charity. Third, fourth rather, with respect to the additional communications relating to the CHLA and the ACLU, there are completely, these are clearly responsive. They have not been ruled on. Elon Musk is in fact the anonymous donor. It's relevant for several reasons. One, Elon is on the film as having seen Ms. Heard in the days after May 21st, 2016. That's the date where all, all the police, all the four police came to the condominiums and all testified that there are not a sign of damage on Ms. Hurd's face and there is no disturbance to the apartment. I'll get to that in a moment. But the point is, Mr. Musk saw her in the weeks between the alleged abuse and the time she got the ex parte TRO on May 27 of that week. So he's clearly a dot, dot, dot. We don't get the rest of it. But yeah, I don't know. I wonder how come um, if... Actually, wouldn't Elon and James Franco wanted to testify for Amber Heard because they were the ones, because wouldn't, wouldn't, yeah, because I think that May 21st week, I think she saw Elon and James Franco, right? That same week. So, I mean, if they were like friends and shit, wouldn't they testify for her? Anyways, I mean, we know why they probably did testify, but yeah. <laughs> James Franco wasn't about to touch his train wreck to her train wreck. Yeah, I didn't know that there was some shit going on with James Franco as well. But um, Jennifer Howe was trying to get him to um, do the right thing and testify. But yeah, um, we all know he didn't testify. 